ben on veut pas revivre ça. I'm stressed, we don't want to go through this again, and it seems like it's going to be worse. Not being able to be home, having to leave my house with the kids or animals. My whole family lives here. Marilou Léonard is being told to leave her home in Rigaud in the next 24 hours, as floodings could be more severe than in 2017, with heavy rainfall coming. And she says this all brings back bad memories. The city of Rigaud, a town of about 7,600 people located 30 kilometers west of Montreal, near the Quebec-Ontario border, was hit by devastating floods two years ago as the banks of the Ottawa River spilled over. A state of emergency was declared and a mandatory evacuation was in place. Hundreds of residents had to be relocated. With heavy rain on the way and the melting snow, officials believe this year's flood could be even more severe. And the city is issuing a warning, residents in the flood zone should evacuate. Although no one is being forced to leave, those who stay will have to bear the consequences. Once we say you should evacuate, if they don't listen, that's where my responsibility is. Rigaud Fire Chief Daniel Boyer says those who refuse to leave can't expect to receive help from emergency teams. Part of our responsibility, we will assure the security of our citizen as long as we don't put the security of our firefighters at risk. So it's part of my job to give the service to the uh, citizen, but it's also part of my job to be sure that my guys and girls don't get hurt doing it or let the police do it or the uh, paramedics do it. Rigaud resident Marilou Léonard is taking the warning seriously. She's working with the Red Cross to find her family temporary shelter. Je sais pas encore. Euh, J'aimerais. En fait, j'ai pris les des initiatives ce matin. I don't know yet where we're going. I took the initiative this morning to see where we could go because I don't want to get caught at the last minute when there will be water everywhere and we have to leave quickly. I know the Red Cross is coming to Rigaud. My file is already open and we won't get caught without shelter. Although she's a longtime Rigaud resident, Marilou is thinking about selling her home. She says the 2017 floods and the one coming have drained her financially and emotionally. I don't want to go through this every two years. It's okay for now, we're going to get through it. But I can't imagine that every two, three, four, five years I have to leave my house with my children and my pets. Living elsewhere is complicated. Others like André Labrie say they've learned their lesson from 2017. Living near a waterway is stressful and can be problematic. I lived there at uh, the last flood. Uh, I We did all the um, gyp rock and everything, and uh, I didn't want to go through that again, so I, I got myself an apartment in the downtown Rigo. The Rigo Library is open as a shelter during the day for residents who need it, but no shelter will be available at night. Rigo's mayor says if you live in the flood zone, stay with family and friends as soon as possible. In Rigo, Emile Lemieux, City News.